Here in this video, I am going to show you that how I solved the problem. So here we have a product page and you can see that we have color variants uh, which are looking in the pills, but the size is looking in the drop down. So how you can make it happen? So actually I did some research and finally solved it out. Let me show you how I did this. So you should go to the dashboard of the store. Here you can see that I have installed down theme. If you have any other free theme, then this code will be applicable for them. So you should click on these three dots. So you should click on duplicate so that later on if you want its original version, you can roll it back. Then click on edit code and here you should actually, I'm going to undo the changes which I did. So here is one file product-variant-picker.liquid. So I'm going to undo the changes and let me refresh this page again and you will see that uh, both are looking as a pills. So what I want is I want the size or maybe the second variant as a drop down. The first variant should remain pill. So it doesn't matter like you have size or maybe any other variant. So automatically that will be uh, showing in the drop down. You should uh, search here variant and you should open product dash variant dash picker dot liquid which is under snippets and here you should find uh, go to line number 52 and you can see that we have picker type button. So actually this is picker type button that's why this is showing pill so inside of it we are going to put a condition so firstly you should uh, actually I have already written a code but uh, let me show you how I did so I'm going to add a loop here so here you can see that we have liquid and uh, I am actually defining use color here so now I need to put condition if if use color then we will be showing this this uh, complete code else else and then we are going to put an and if and if actually we are putting the same code which I, which we had before inside the if condition because this is for the use color i mean if we have the variant name color then this will be applied because we already uh, know that uh, in the color we don't want to change anything but other than that what should be done inside of this else I can see here we have a div which is the complete div related to drop down. So you should just copy and then paste it inside of this else condition. And what you have to do is you have to remove this condition and maybe you should completely remove this code. Okay. This is actually if picker type swatch option. So you should remove this. Then after you should uh, put one more thing. Wait a minute. Let me copy this and then firstly you should uh, remove this and then you should paste here picker type swatch drop down okay and then click on save once you are done then let me refresh this page again and here we go now you can see that we have excel we have xsl and if you are adding to cart then automatically that specific xsl uh, is added so that means this is working fine so that's how I solved it. So I think that uh, this video is much fruitful for you because I have solved the problem. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. And if you need any kind of features, I actually built a lot of features. You can see here, I have uh, today implemented one new code related to uh, showing people are viewing right now. How many people randomly uh, displaying here? So here you can see that people which are uh, coming to my store. So those are reflecting on uh, the product page. So this is actually attracting the customers uh, and making them uh, purchase more products. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.